breaking news, my wonderful people. While at Ira Pao for Tinibu Mata, now wah, my country people, waiting they happen. This court case don't they enter another level. See problem everywhere, here and there, evidence is just they come out. Now, so now we don't hear say Tinibu identified himself as a woman while he was seeking a U.S. admission. This is coming from the People's Democratic Party. Oh, one of the weaknesses from the People's Democratic Party. They did tell the election tribunal, say, see, 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 oh, see what thing they go on, my country people. This wahala way they inside this uh, election tribunal matter, eh, the thing too much. No be smart thing they happen. Now, a weakness from the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubaka, has alleged that... Eh, President Bola admit Tinibu identified himself as a female while seeking admission in the Chicago State University, USA. Mike Enahoro, who was also who was supported by the PDP to the Presidential Election Petitions Court, said Tinibu in forwarding a transcript of the Southwest College in U.S. in the 1977, used the name Bola Adekunle Tinibu and identified himself as a female instead of a male. He identified himself as a female. He disguised himself as a female. Now the PDP also tendered certified copies of the judgment of the U.S. court on the forfeiture of the sum of 460,000 US dollars and a copy of a you know of a journey uh, passport against Tinibu now the five member panel of justice presided by justice Haruna Tasmini admitted that after taking the objections by the council to the INEC and the uh, Abubakar Mahmud San Tinibu Emeka Okala San and also the APC Latif Fabimi San under cross examination by the council to INEC, the witness denied spending a lot of money to pursue the case against Tinibu, submitting that the the lawyer partner in the US obtained the document free of charge. The witness also admitted that he was pained when his candidate lost the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. So my country people, the matter where they grant Abi say, Ashiwajubola at Metinibu, while he was seeking for admission in the US, he identified himself as a female. He took the identity of a female instead of that of a male. Hey, my country people, this is really serious. So, now, ah, wah, my country people, it be like say Atiku Abubaka no want to make Tinibu drink water drop cup. He no want to make President Tinibu breathe as the matter they be like this. So, because this always be say they don't present this transcript, you know, of an admission into the Chicago State University made by the Southwest College in the name of President Bola Admetinibu, but it was later identified as a female gender. You see the kind problem where just they come up, it was identified as a female gender. Now, Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, they've been bringing so many evidences, so many documents to prove their allegations in their joint petition challenging Tinibu's declaration as the winner of the February 25th, uh, 2023 presidential election. Now, other documents tendered in the evidence by Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party, included a, a, a certified true copy of a certificate supposedly issued to Tinibu by the, uh, by the Chicago State University, a, cer a certificate of service by the National Youth Service Corps, the NYSC, issued in the name of uh, Tinibu uh, Bola Ade Kunle, also a party membership card and a certificate of service for Mobile, uh, mobile Oil Nigeria PLC. Now, other documents tend that by Atiku, by the PDP, you know, they ordered, they tendered other documents and they also urged the courts 
to nullify Tinibu's election. They said that Tinibu made a forfeiture of his assets, you know, to the U.S. Uh, to the United States government, about four hundred and sixty uh, U.S. dollars. They also tendered a certificate of compliance, you know. In fact, my country people, they just they bring so many evidences just to bring Tinibu down. And as they, they fight Tinibu, now so I neck too, and the All Progressive Congress, now so did they join, they fight the PDPO. Yes, so my country people, as the INEC and the All Progressive Congress, they are all fighting together, you know, they are joint they are jointly fighting together against the People's Democratic Party. So any evidence where did they bring up? Now so the INEC did they dismiss them. APC they go dismiss them. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Lawyers will tell politicians they have a strong case and that they have a clear chances of winning in court just for their own benefit. Well, Nigeria is a crime scene. Is a crime scene. Vagabond in power at the detriment of the people. Now, selection did they practice for this country? Yo. I beg, make una leave this man alone. No be only him be the first person to rig election. Now, why? It's like these people have finally run out of ideas. Well, how that one won't take consign us? Even with the same name, it affect us. Well, no one is above mistakes. So, how many kilometers from Ibadan to Lagos? Well, it doesn't concern Nigerians, a country where a drug dealer can be president. We'll, care, we'll not care about good or evil, or right or wrong. The conscience is already compromised and conditioned to accept anything. So, fake certificates may not even matter. So, now so did Tinde be. Tinibu can escape all these legal bombs from Matiku, from Peter Obio. Now, so we see ourselves for this country. Well, mistakes can happen while filling forms. And he was the first human before becoming a politician. Oh, yeah, PDP witness, I want to ask you a question. Why are you guys coming up with this? Articles lawyer must stop. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? You know, the issue of uh, Tinibu bearing a female instead of a male has really caused a lot of problems for President Tinibu. It has caused a lot of problems for the All Progressive Congress. Now, the PDP are using this against them. The PDP are using this against Tinibu. They are using it against the All Progressive Congress. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.